The New York Giants were set to have one of their key players return to the team on the 12th October, but that won't be the case. Not all the players took the flight back to New Jersey. One of them could not get the chance to revisit the city of New York. Today, let's begin the video to find out the player who can't come back to the team. First up, Jamie Gillen's passport issue. Following Sunday's 27-22 victory against the Green Bay Packers, New York Giants punter Jamie Gillen did not return home with the team, instead remaining in London to settle pass passport and visa issues. According to two sources familiar with the issue, Gillen's expected to obtain his new passport by Thursday. And once the proper paperwork is completed, he will return to the New Jersey area and rejoin the Giants. This information was sent to NorthJersey.com, a website in the USA Today network. NFL Network was the first to report Gillen's condition. Gillen, 25, was born and raised in Scotland before migrating to Southern Maryland as a youngster. When his father Colin, a navigator in the Scottish Royal Royal Air Force was transferred, he decided to relocate his entire family. Jamie was permitted to enter the nation with a NATO visa because of his father's military status. Gillen, nicknamed the Scottish Hammer, has gained a reputation for his powerful left leg since high school, and it was not long before the Cleveland Browns noticed the champ. When he signed with the Cleveland Browns three years ago, Gillen's visa should have been updated to a work visa. At the time, an obvious error was made, but nothing was changed. Clearly an unfortunate situation for Jamie. Next up, Jamie Gillen's missed flight. According to a source close to the incident, Gillen and the Giants were aware of the issue before their international tour, and he could have returned to the United States with the team using his previous visa. Everyone involved agreed that settling any outstanding issues before Gillen's return was the best course of action. The Giants are Gillen's second professional team, and he had a good, albeit brief, impact versus the Packers. Gillen had to punt twice, but he averaged 50 yards on each attempt and helped the New York Yorkers win with a clever safety late in the game to extend the clock. The finest part of his adventure ended there, as the earliest he can return to the US is yet to find out, as his team's game against the Ravens is on the 16th of October. Gillen is anticipated to return to the Giants 4-1 before the weekend so that he may play in Sunday's game against the Baltimore Ravens at MetLife Stadium. As a precaution, the Giants will audition free agent punters in case Gillen's situation worsens unexpectedly. Coming up, did the team fly back with without Jamie Gillen? So the answer to the question is yes. The team flew back without the man whose punting helped lead them to the top of the league. The Giants are known to support their players on and off the field. So it's hard to imagine why they wouldn't send him home so that they could have him around to help them work through the jet lag from playing in London. After all, there's a big game on 16th October against the Ravens. But there's not much they can do since his absence was not their fault. They just have to wait it out and hope he shows up in the next few days. It's unclear as to when his return is going to happen right now. But knowing the Giants like to use field goals when they need to, and they get the ball back in good field position through poor punt coverage, we can be sure that they will come up big with a couple of those to come their way this week. So overall, we feel that his staying overseas isn't too much of a big deal, as he still had plenty of time to prepare for the game at home. Plus, having him back in London would only create unnecessary problems for the team, as they would have to get used to working with a player that they didn't play during the preseason. And now that they have to work with him for their game with the Ravens, a crucial one. Not to forget, when will Jamie Gillen be back in New Jersey? Punter Jamie Gillen of the New York Giants departed the United Kingdom on October 12th and is now returning to the United States after a visa issue was resolved. Gillen departed London on October 12th and will return to the United States on October 13th for practice, according to the team. Gillen was forced to spend an additional three days in the United Kingdom following the Giants' 27-22 victory against the Green Bay. Packers on Sunday. The younger Gillen never switched his visa to a work visa after being employed by the NFL. According to coach Brian Dabble, the Giants were aware of the problem and were aware that the punter might not be permitted to leave after the game on Sunday. Gillen had gotten the corrected documentation and was prepared to leave on Wednesday. Graham Gano, a Giants kicker, and Casey Kreider, a long snapper, had a good time while their teammates were away. They donned t-shirts with the message, Free Jamie, emblazoned in dark ink after the practice. Gano's message was accompanied by a Scottish flag. We wish a happy homecoming to Jamie Gillen and hope there are no further roadblocks in his already delayed arrival at home. Moving on to Thomas McGahee on the progress of Jamie Gillen. First up, McGahee on Gillen's inconsistency. Punter Jamie Gillen was described as a hard worker and extremely coachable by special teams coordinator Thomas McGahee. But Gillen has been inconsistent in camp this summer, and if there's one area in which McGahee would like to see improvement, it's his hang to distance. Gillen has 
had no competition for his roster spot thus far in the offseason and camp. That's something he's been working on and he's improving, McGahee said on October 12th. McGahee wants Gillen to ensure that coverage is maintained during these trying times, that his strength is maintained, and that he attempts to prepare for war. Next, McGahee on areas of improvement for punter. Well, we all know if you're traveling, then you should keep your documents up to date. But this thought might never cross our favorite punter, Jamie's mind. While it's a huge setback for the team as expressed by McGahee, he's not at all angry with Jamie for the mishap. In a press conference, McGahee expressed his dissatisfaction but also praised the young punter for the hard work that has been put through. In his view, it was fair to assume that Jamie has to start from scratch, which is, of course, difficult for anyone to embark on. But not just anybody can do it. The way in which McGahee has spoken about Jamie Gillen in question, reflecting that McGahee is patient and has a firm belief that Jamie will be back in full swing. McGahee always praised the young player from the beginning. And in these trying times, while the Giants vs. Ravens is coming in a swing, McGahee, along with the team, hopes that this little break does not put any stop to the continuous amazing performance delivered by the young player, Jamie Gillen. Well, if you ask us what would make McGahee believe so highly about Jamie, and what makes McGahee think that Jamie's capable of handling himself in the situation is simple. He's a tough player and is well known for getting out of trouble. Lastly, McGahee previews the upcoming season with Gillen in mind. McGahee is all set to the belief that Jamie will be back soon, and advises him to practice in London as the player does not need much practice as defined by Jamie's past records. In three seasons, Gillen had a 44.9 punting average and a hang time of 4.37 seconds. His career stats also include 9 touchbacks, 19 dropped punts, and 19 out of bounds punts. Gillen's career in Cleveland ended when he was released on December 22, 2021. He was later acquired by the Bills, who added him to the practice squad but did not bring him to the 53-man roster. Gillen, who's only in his third season, is still a relatively young player. When working with young athletes, McGahee advises patience. McGahee expressed thoughts about young Jamie, defending him as, young players are a bit messy. He further pointed out that every player needs direction and makes mistakes at the onset of their career. But McGahee appreciated the growth that Gillen's career had since he entered the field. Jamie must be able to determine what he does effectively during his growth stage, understand how he performs, and then base his teaching plan on that. Whatever happens with this little setback in Jamie's season plan, McGahee hopes that such mishaps do not repeat in the future, and thus, the team will take strict majors to ensure everything is up to date with their traveling documents. They're important, and what better time to realize it than 2022. That's a wrap for this video. Are you excited about Jamie's return? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.